Hello and welcome to Little Church Big Faith from St. Andrew Lutheran Church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm Chris and I am so happy you could join us today, either here in person or online. If you're joining us online, in your Friday email there was the bulletin, the two bulletins for Sunday worship, the one for reader and pre-readers, your Taking Faith home sheet that you can use throughout the week. Keep it on your nightstand or on the dining room table or any place like that so you can use it every day throughout the week. You're also going to need a plain sheet of paper and crayons. Like I said, this week is going to be a little bit different and it's going to be a little bit different moving forward. Because we're going to have people here at church joining us in person, but we're also going to be recording it for those of you who can't come to church yet and still need to stay home. All right, let's get started. So does anybody know on our world wheel here where we are in the church year? I'll give, you, I'll give you a hint. We just had transfiguration last week. So if we just had transfiguration last week, where do you think we are this week? Yeah, that's where we were last week. We're in Lent, you're right. So Lent lasts for 40 days. That's a long time, isn't it? And we're going to hear about 40 days today in our story. So I have a question before we get to our story. What's something that you really, 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 really like? My kitty. Your kitty? Kitty. Kitties. There's two of them. There's two of them. Ben, what's something you really like? My dog. Your dogs? What about you? What you? Rainbows. Rainbows? Science. Science. Science makes rainbows. Okay. Well, those are all really, really good things to like. Can you think of something that you really, really like to do that sometimes your parents don't like you to do? Karate. Karate? Uh, yeah, because I'm afraid of stuff. My mom and dad don't like me to do it in the house, but my mom would like me if I could do karate class. <laughs> what about eat a lot of candy? Do your parents like when you eat a lot of candy? No. What about when you try and keep all your toys to yourself? Never? Never. I don't think so. Oh, all right. Well, we're going to hear about what, what a word called tempting today. Yay! Anybody know what that word means? Um, I know what it means. That's it means when you really, really, okay. really want something. Okay? So we're going to read from the World Story Bible today. And we're on page 210. So those of you who are at home, if you have the World Story Bible, you can go ahead and open up to page 210 and follow along. Uh, we didn't bring it. Well, that was for the people who are at home. Oh. We have the Bible right here, right? Yes. A tempting time. After Jesus was baptized, Jesus was led into the wilderness for 40 days. Yes. Jesus ate no food. For 40 days. I'm sure he was still alive because he still survived that night. The devil tried to get Jesus to give up God and follow him instead. At the end of 40 days, Jesus was very, very hungry. Did you eat something? Jesus, you're so hungry, the devil said. Why not change this rock into bread? Well, remember, Jesus just turned water into wine. Jesus remembered a scripture verse. He learned as a child. Jesus told the devil, Moses said, we need more than bread to live. The devil frowned. How could he tempt Jesus? The devil showed Jesus big cities and important people. 
All these cities and people are mine, the devil bragged. Worship me, then they'll be yours. Look, you see all these big cities and people on sitting on thrones and wearing crowns? Jesus knew God was in charge. He remembered the rules God gave the Israelites. God commandment says we should only worship God, Jesus firmly said. The devil was frustrated. How could he tempt Jesus? In a flash, the devil and Jesus stood on top of the temple in Jerusalem. Look, you can see him here and the whole city all around them. Jump off, the devil shouted. You're the son of God. According to scriptures, God will protect you. Jesus stood tall. He remembered one more verse. Devil, Jesus said. Moses said, don't test God. Three times the devil tried to tempt Jesus to give up God. Three times the devil failed. With that, the devil disappeared. He'd try another time. Good. Don't try to take God out and see if that's me. So Jesus was really, really hungry because he fasted for 40 days, which was a really common practice back then, and it's still actually a common practice among some people today. And then the devil had things that Jesus might want. I have things that you might want in these bags. Well, let me let me make you an offer. You can have everything in this bag just for yourself. No way. There's lots of good stuff in here. Or, or, you can get one thing and so can everybody else, one thing out of this bag. Or you can have this whole bag for yourself. Uh, not having any of it. Which, one thing, right? So that's what, that's what, so I'm going to pour it, look. This was what was in the bag that just, that was all for you. Right? Now, when, Je when Jesus, when the devil tempted Jesus, oh, I didn't say you could take anything yet. Well, it's tempting though, isn't it? I was looking at it. Ah, right? When Jesus was tempted, he was tempted to take things for himself. Right? But Jesus teaches us that everyone should have everything equally. Does that make sense? Yeah. So Jesus having bread isn't a bad thing, but him only having bread and nobody else having it was bad. Right? More stuff. Look, this is the more stuff. Right. So what you can do is you can each come up and pick one thing for you to have. You get one thing from the pile. Even candy? You can have one piece of candy. There's slime, there's beads, there's toys. You get one thing. That's slime. All right, you got your one thing. Do you want, at least you want to come grab your one thing? It's just a tin. There's nothing in there. I'll tell you ahead of time. It's just a little box to hold things in. Yeah, there are some quarters in there too. Yeah. All right, Finn, you want to come pick up your thing? Now, Audrey, you're next. Lily, you're next. <laughs> All right, so let's go to our tables. You can take the thing, you can hold it for later. But well, we're going to go to our tables right now. Okay. 
So you have pieces of paper on your tables, pieces of paper, and you got crayons. So what I want you to do, what I want you to do is I want you to take one piece of paper, okay? You're gonna need two total, but take one first and draw on it something that you're tempted that you want all for yourself. It could be like a nice meal or a toy or what's something you want just for you. Okay? And I want you to draw that on the first piece of paper. Audrey, let's start with you. Audrey, what did you draw? A snow globe with a heart in it. And I even wrote snow globe. Nice. Lily, what are you drawing? Alright, we'll come back to you. Finn, what did you draw? A piece of candy. <laughs> Elise, what are you drawing? A tree. A tree. Oh, oh yeah. What are you drawing? A science table. A science table. All right. Now, I want you to take your picture, and I want you to draw how you can share that with someone else. So what's a way you could share your candy or your science table or your snow globe or your tree with somebody else. Audrey, who are you going to share your snow globe with? Yeah, but you can tell me who you're going to share it with. Lily? Lily? <laughs> Elise, who are you going to share your tree with? Your mom. Yeah, because you can share with your mom. And you know how you share it? Not to be my best mom. Or Lily's best mom. Or you could play in it together. The best thing is to play in it together. And then when you're done with your drawings, come back down and sit down on our pillows. Because we're going to pray. Is there anything people want to pray about today? How Jesus is our Jesus man. All right. Anything else people want to pray about? So we're going to pray every week the same way, and it's called a bidding prayer. Okay, so I'm going to say something, just like what they do in the, in the big church, in big church, right? And then you're going to say, um, thanks be to God, okay? And then at the end, we'll all say amen together. Does that sound good? Yeah. God, we thank you that Jesus was so good and set a great example for us all, including our pastors, our teachers, and our parents who love us very much. What do you all say? Thanks be to God. Jesus, we thank you for the creation, for the trees, the sun, the rivers, and the warm weather we have today so we can go outside and play. Thanks be to God. Jesus, we pray that you, with all, everyone who's sad and sick and hurting, especially the people in Ukraine right now, thanks be to God. We pray for all these things and everything else you give us. Amen. Amen. All right, so we can gather up our gas, we can gather up our drawings and put our crayons away and our little trinket, and we're going to head back to church. I want you to line up by the wood door.